This video will show you some of the most basic and advanced features of your phone system. We'll talk about how to make and take phone calls, as well as some in-call handling such as conference and transfer. We'll then move on to some other features included in the system, such as voicemail, do not disturb directories, and more. Your phone is equipped with a dynamic display. The top of the display shows you a status bar, indicating your volume level, whether you have any missed calls or new voicemails. The middle of the display will show you the time, the date, or the caller ID information for the person you're speaking with. On the right and the left side of the display are configurable buttons. The first two buttons on the left side will be marked with your extension. These are called line keys. Having two line keys instead of one will make it easier to go between several calls. The four keys that line the bottom of the display are called soft keys. The features and the labels of each of these keys will change based on what's going on at the time, for example, if you're on a call or not. To mute yourself while listening to your live caller, press the mute button. While engaged, this will have a red light behind it. To turn off mute, press it again. To switch to the headset mode, press the headset button. To switch to speakerphone mode, press the speaker button. To turn the volume up or down while on a live call, press the plus or minus keys on the bottom of the phone set. While not on a live call, the volume keys will adjust the ringer volume. To make a phone call, press the headset, speaker, or lift the handset off hook, then dial an extension or a phone number. While dialing a phone number, there's no need to dial a 1 or a 9. When receiving a call, your phone will ring, you'll see the caller ID displayed in the middle screen, and your top left line key will blink. To answer, lift the handset, press speaker, or headset. While on a phone call, if a second call comes in, you'll hear a call waiting beep over the handset speaker or headset, the line key light will blink, and you'll see the incoming caller ID displayed. To answer the second call, press the second line key. The first call will go on hold automatically, as indicated by the slow blink on the line key. You may then go back and forth between the lines simply by pressing the line keys. This will always put the other call on hold. There are several features available while you're on a live phone call. Hold, park, transfer, and conference. Placing a caller on hold places the caller on hold on your phone only. To do this, press the hold soft key. The line key light will blink slowly. To resume the held call, either press the line key or the resume soft key. To put the call on hold in a shared spot, use the park feature instead. A parked call is shared with all other phones at your site. To park your call, press one of the available parking spots. To resume the park call, press the associated park button from your phone or any others at your site. To send your live call to another extension or phone number, you may transfer it. To send the call directly to the extension or phone number, press the transfer button, then input the phone number or extension you wish to send them to. Press the B trans button, which stands for blind transfer, and the call will be transferred immediately. To send your call directly into an extension's voicemail box without ringing their phone first, press the transfer soft key, then type in seven plus their extension. For example, to send the call to extension 4121's voicemail, you would type 74121, then the blind transfer button again. This will send the call directly to that extension's voicemail box without ringing their phone first. This is useful, for example, if they're in a meeting or simply unavailable for the call. If you'd like to talk to the third party first privately before transferring the call to them, you may do so by performing an announce transfer. To do this, press the transfer soft key, which puts the caller on hold, then type in an extension or phone number that you'd like to send the call to. The first call remains on hold while the third party is called. You may talk with them privately when they answer, and if they cannot take the call, you'll press the end call soft key. 
If they can, press transfer. The call will be transferred to them immediately. While you're on a call, if you find it necessary to bridge in a third party to it, this is called conferencing. To initiate a three-way conference call, press the conference soft key, then type in the extension or phone number you wish to bridge into the call. The first party will remain on hold while the third party rings. When they answer, you may speak with them privately to see if they can assist with the call. If so, tap the conference key again, labeled CONF. This will bridge in both parties together. If you hang up the conference call, the other two parties will be transferred to each other. If you have a new voicemail waiting for you, the message waiting indicator light will blink with a red glow on the top right of your phone set. Additionally, your status bar icon will illuminate with the voicemail icon. To access voicemail to check these messages or change greetings, press the messages button on the bottom right of the phone set. Listen to the prompts to enter the voicemail system, change greetings, and listen to any messages. Your phone is equipped with a log of all of the most recent incoming, received, and even the missed calls. This is called the history feature. To access it, press the history soft key. You may then use the navigational buttons up, down, left, right to look through the most recent entries and dial them back. The Do Not Disturb feature allows you to reject all incoming calls to your voicemail. To turn this on, press the D&D soft key. The D&D icon will illuminate in your status bar when this is turned on. To turn it off, press the D&D button again. While this feature is on, all incoming calls to your extension and to your full phone number will go directly to voicemail. However, you can still make outbound calls normally. Your phone is equipped with a directory. To access it, press the directory soft key. The first time you access your directory and look at the extensions list, your phone will ask you for your username, which will already be filled in, and your password. Use the navigational keys to enter your password for the account. The password for the account is always the same as your voicemail password. By default, your voicemail password will be the last four digits of your 10-digit number or the last four digits of that number twice. When you set up your voicemail, you will be prompted to change this. After entering your password, press the OK soft key to enter into the directory. From there, you can view and search all entries. If your system has been equipped with a paging feature, you may use this by simply pressing the page button, speaking your message over the handset, speaker, or headset, then hanging up. All configured members will hear your broadcast.